my channel today I'm going to be doing a really cute set of melted ice cream nails first I'm going to start with my bottom color for my ombre which is going to be strawberry cream from the Mia secret pastel collection so yeah I'm just building up this color it was a little bit difficult to work with maybe because it was so light and I've already applied the clear acrylic to my middle finger and the ring finger but I didn't show that because I didn't want to bore anyone <laughs> Also, I wanted to add in that the pointer finger and the thumb are going to be exactly the same. So next I'm taking this honey lavender color from the same collection and I'll be applying this as the base to the pinky. This is going to be the sprinkle nail. This color was also a little bit difficult to work with. I felt like I had to keep adding beads to try to build up the color, but sometimes you gotta work with what you got. <laughs> So next I'm going in with blue mint for my top color on the ombre. I don't do ombres too often and these colors were really hard to blend and I really thought that I was going to mess it up and I was almost panicking at one point but I managed to get it done. I just added in little beads here and there and I actually did have to go back and put a little more pink to blend the two colors together but it all worked out in the end. It ended up a little bit thick and I had a lot to file off so I think what I would have done the next time I have to do something like this is probably not apply so much acrylic but like I said these two colors were really hard to blend maybe because the pink was so light but yeah. I go in and encapsulate all the nails with the colored acrylic and clear and I'm just encapsulating the tips of the ombre nails and brushing it up and maybe adding a little bit more where I feel is necessary and just building up that pinky after I do that I'll file shape and buff off camera and then I'll be moving on to the ice cream nail Alright, so now I'm taking this color from the Fantasy Nails Cupcake Collection. It's like a light pale yellow. And I'm using this to um, do the cone for the ice cream. And I'm just building this color up. This color was also a little difficult to work with. But you know what? We're, we are going to make this work today, okay? <laughs> Okay, once that acrylic is halfway set, I'm taking this Born Pretty stamping scraper 
and I'm gonna make some diagonal lines going across the nail and some on top of those to give a waffle cone appearance. But I realized I should have built up the nail in yellow because the clear is popping through. So I just go in and fill those in with a little bit of gel paint and I go over that with a matte top coat after I cure it. I won't show me applying the matte top coat, but you get the point. Okay, so now I'm going to be creating the ice cream scoops. I'm using a smaller acrylic brush in the number 4 and I'm using that to pat out the beads into a round circle and once they're halfway set I'm going to be creating some texture to give them a more realistic ice cream appearance. the acrylic is halfway set I'm taking my really small dotting tool and I'm just fluffing up the top layer of acrylic I'm not digging into it because if you do that you'll be able to see your base color I'm just kind of like fluffing it around to give it some texture it makes it look more realistic now I'm taking my oval alpha brush in the number eight and I'm creating the top um, layer of ice cream and I'm just using my brush in the number 4 just to shape that around and make it look like it's on top of the other scoops. And I'll be creating some texture with my dotting tool once it's halfway set. Now I'm going to be creating the drip effect. I'm picking up really small beads of acrylic, placing them on the nail, kind of dragging them up to give them that look. And once they're set, I go over them one more time just to give them a little extra 3D effect. So now I'm going to be creating some sprinkles on the pinky. I'm picking up small beads of acrylic and I'm using my brush to pat around them just to keep their shape while they're setting. And yes, I did cut my finger um, when I was filing my nails. I used a bit that was not a safety bit and it grazed my skin a little bit. I was really mad about that, but it's all good. You live and you learn. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to take some clear acrylic and I'm going to attach the rhinestone bow to my ring finger. When you're doing big nail jewelry like this, it's best to use clear acrylic because it gives it a stronger hold. And I just take my acrylic brush and I kind of push the acrylic under the bow so that it doesn't show through. Now I'm going to go ahead and top coat all the nails without the 3D art and I'm using Poochie's Super Shine Gel Top Coat and I apply some white fine glitter to the ring finger to give it a sugar effect and I actually go over it twice but I only show it one time and I'll be back with a close up at the end. Okay guys, here's the finished look. I think they came out really, really cute. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, hit that bell. I'm coming with way more designs. Follow me on Instagram at staypolish91 so you never miss an update from me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!